On behalf of Expert Village, I'm Kirk Glazier at KGB Studios. Continuing on with these sessions on the four-track reel-to-reel -reel restoration process, we'll be talking about the front part of this machine with all the different pieces so that you understand basic functionality and what these controls are for. So let's go to the demo now of the basic functions. Obviously here we have the reels. Over here is the left reel, followed by the right reel. This is the reel reel tape, which follows this particular path here. If you can follow the tape, it goes up and around there. So it just wraps around this center hub here, this darker piece, on the left-hand side. So that's the reels. Down here we have the basic functions, which of course is fairly obvious. You have uh, fast forward, rewind, play, and record over here on the left-hand side. When you record, you'll actually use these particular controls here to decide whether you're going to record in mono, one track at a time, two tracks at a time, three or all four tracks at a time. And these guys here, these little red lights, little LED red lights will light up. You'll see that when we actually record. Over here, of course, you have power and pause, and that functions really nice. One of the reasons I bought this deck is because it has an instant pause, so you don't lose any track and you can, what they do, punch in. The other basic functions, of course, are these volume unit meters, the VU meters, and you might even be able to see them in this shot here, followed by the basic construction and the basic functionality of these playback controls or your volume controls. That's the basic functions of this reel-to-reel -reel recorder, the Docorder 7140. Join us again next time where we will dive into the quarter track deck a little bit more detail. Till then, this is Kurt at KGB Studios. For Expert Village, see you soon.